What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Zachary and today I'm going to be showcasing my new DLL injector. So I basically restarted my DLL injector series, so now I'm back to version 1.0 and I actually renamed it instead of it being called Zachary's Injector V1.0, I named it Techno V1.0. So now it's going to be called Techno from now on. And here's the first version, so it looks a lot like Extreme Injector, but it's different since it has settings here. I was going to make a settings menu by, I was going to add a button around here. that you click on it, it opens a new form where all the settings were, but I tried it and the settings wouldn't work. So I basically added on the home page. So what you do to inject a DLL into Roblox is you go to type in Roblox Player Beta, then you can browse for a DLL. So let's make a fake DLL here. Fake that DLL. I need it to be a DLL. How can I do that? Well, since I can't get it to work, all you do is click browse, look for a DLL, click open, it'll show up on this list here. Then you can just click inject or automatic inject. And you can also choose to close on inject, so once you inject it, the injector will close. Then you have the status down here, so it says no process selected. Once you inject it, it'll say successfully injected. So there you go guys, thank you for watching and I hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys next time.